Hello and welcome. I wanted to make a quick video on the functions of the video equations for people who are more of a visual learner. I'm powering it from a 9 volt power supply here, but you can also run it off a 9 volt battery. Flicked it on with the little on switch here and the light is on. So <clears throat> the main four controls you'll use are these four sliders. The first one is the equation type. You'll see as I slide this we get different sorts of looks to what we're doing. Let's pick something nice, that's pretty nice. Uh, and down here, this button goes to a second page of equations. A lot more focused on uh, completely solid. So like this. There we go, back to page one. What was that square I liked? That was quite nice. Da -da -da. Oh, see, these triangles look... These triangles look alright. <coughs> cool. So, the next slider across here is color depth. So as I slide it down, less and less colors appear on the screen until zero or one color is left. Again, that depends on the equation. And so you can see me adding more and more colors right back up at the top. For each equation, we also have X and Y modifiers. So in this case, this one slides the triangles up and down, and this one slides them left and right. But of course, those are different for each equation. Uh, and so part of the joy of a little device like this is discovering what each of them do. So we've also got this button here, which is mute. Should you ever need to mute it. Uh, we've also got, and I'm going to go on to a solid pattern like this, just to um, make it more obvious the next part that I'm doing. So here we have offsets. So I click this button and now this knob here, second knob from the top controls, the character offset. So for a solid pattern like this, I can now dial in an exact character. But of course for a pattern that's not solid, you can see me scroll through it here. And so it changes my equation and gives it you know, very different feels by changing the range of character sets that are getting passed in. So this is the first equation without any character offset. This is it with character offset. This here is for color offset. So I hit this button here, and now this top knob allows me to control. I'll move across to the solid. I'll move across to the solid one here. So I'm on a solid pattern. Now this top knob allows me to change the colors. And now it's not so obvious with a pattern that's constantly changing and so vibrant. But here you can see me dialing through different colors. And so with these two controls, I can dial in some pretty nice, pretty weird stuff. Uh, I'm going to come back to this button <coughs> over here got masks. So when I click this, we are now creating a mask around our equation and this knob controls the size of that mask. The next button down inverts the mask. So now you'll see we're cutting a square hole through the mask and offset, these offset buttons that we had turned on before, they apply to everything on the screen, including what is being masked. So if you want just like a black mask, you keep this off. This button down the bottom selects the mask type. We've got a bunch of different masks available. Uh, this is a double equation mask. 
where the bottom part stays on the equation you've selected here, and the top part, you select the equation up here. So that lets you get some interesting double equation stuff. We've also got this cool looking little tower. Another variation on masks. This is cutting out certain characters based on value. You can see as it you can see as I turn it off and on what characters it is removing. And now we're back to the start. So like I said, we can apply character offset and color offset to our patterns and to what is being masked to get some pretty nice combinations. Uh, we can also use this button that I haven't talked about yet. So this button, and I'll turn off everything to get us back to where we were, oh, similar to where we were. So this button up here uh, is shifting all of the characters that we're using uh, to a new set. So this button here was character offset. So this button here was character offset, and that meant you could turn the knob to gently offset the character numbers that you were using. We're clicking this, will offset them by quite a lot. And that's how you get different kinds of uh, looks. So the first set was alphanumeric characters. Uh, these are, you know, a different set again. These are some wiggly liney sort of stuff, more offset. And so you've got kind of three sets of those. Now, something I didn't mention yet is this. So this LFO, and let's put the mask on. So this gives us different kinds of repeated uh, functions. So in this case, the first time I hit it, you can see it's now changing uh, the offset character for the background. And I uh, hit it again. As I go through it, we get different kinds of effects. In fact, so this one, I'll turn off that mask there. This updates uh, row by row. This updates character by character. And now we're back to the beginning with the offset. So that can help introduce a little bit more sort of interesting randomness to what you're doing. Let's bring that back to the beginning. Now, you would have noticed these down the side. So we also have CV inputs. So I'm just using a little sequence over here and I'm going to plug into here. So these functions follow the order of left to right. So this is this, this is this, this is this, uh, this is this, and then the last three of these. So all the knobs and sliders have corresponding CV voltages. So I've just plugged into X here. So now we're automating the movement of this slider in this equation. That's giving us some nice, giving us some nice looking effects. <clears throat> I'm going to also use another zero to five volt signal here. Let's turn on the mask. And let's drive the mask voltage from another CV here. And so that was just a little introduction to uh, the functions of 
the video equations here. Uh, but this is obviously only just a very small look at how you can use it and what kind of things you can achieve. So um, the best way to do that is to use it and to explore with it and discover um, what kind of exciting things are hiding inside of it. So thanks for watching. Catch you later.